Downtown LA is one of the hardest hit office markets in the US. There's a 30% vacancy rate. At the same time demand is falling, the cost of ownership has gone up. Some landlords are just walking away from their properties. Some lenders are foreclosing on properties and taking them back. The Federal Reserve in a financial stability report warned that a sizable correction could be underway in US commercial real estate. Downtown LA's largest office landlord Brookfield has defaulted on three buildings with mortgages totaling more than $1 billion. The bank tower that stood in for the offices of LA Law, the TV series, it was seized by its lender, Oaktree Capital, in February. The Union Bank Plaza sold in April for $104 million, half its price 13 years ago. Downtown LA has a lot of other problems too. I mean, there are alternatives to going downtown for law firms and insurance companies and finance. There's Century City, the offices here cost twice as much per square foot and vacancies are half as high as they are downtown. It's not all bad for downtown. Fans are flocking to crypto.com arena. Some restaurants are thriving. What the city has been trying to do is turn it into a round the clock, 24 hour downtown, not just a nine to five office center. The population of downtown is still growing. It was 15,000 in the 1990s and grew to more than 90,000 today. Earlier this month, the city council approved a plan to house more than 125,000 additional people in the downtown area by 2040. A lot of those new homes will probably be former or obsolete offices that are converted into apartments and condominiums. But for the office market, one thing is for sure, according to Stuart Gabriel, a professor at UCLA, it's going to get worse before it gets better.